What's up guys, it's Marquez from the MKBHD channel, back with another high definition video review for DroidDog.com and the DroidDog YouTube channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at Evernote, and this is version 3.0 of the Evernote application. So basically what's special about Evernote is this is an online syncing ability just to take notes. It's a very full-featured, full-fledged note-taking application for Android. I've reviewed a similar application called AK Notepad in the past, but what's different about Evernote is that it has multiple different platforms. So this is actually, there's a desktop equivalent, there's an iOS equivalent, there's an Android equivalent. So you can really have your notes synced across all platforms, and that's, I think, one of the biggest things that sets Evernote apart. Now, in version 3.0, there's also a slightly updated user interface, as you can see here. There's a list of notes based on when they were created. And there's a menu button, which allows you to see your notes where you put them down on a map. You can sync all your notes back up to the cloud, which only takes about a second or two. And you can also uh, view different display options and settings. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the settings available with Evernote. Uh, AK Notepad is another note-taking application I reviewed earlier in the year uh, that doesn't have a desktop equivalent but did have a few settings that are very similar to this. Uh, so you have a pin lock that you can set up to basically encrypt your notes, which is pretty cool. You can clear your cache and of course change whether or not it syncs over Wi-Fi or 3G and things like that and whether or not it uses GPS satellites to find your notes on a map. So that's when we saw that mapping feature here in the menu options. You can actually choose to uh, have all of your notes shown on a map based on where you took them. So if you want to make a new note, we'll go ahead and do that up here with the button on the top and see if it makes a new note title. We'll put that down as test. And we'll put down some content as content. Okay, so that is a, a couldn't note. And basically all you have to do is hit save. It's really, really simple to put down notes in the mobile application. Now, when you put down a note in the desktop application that does have some sort of formatting, you'll actually be able to view that formatting on the mobile client. So as you can see here, there's different bulleting on the left-hand side. In the right-hand side, it splits stuff up. There's hyperlinks. You can have images in here, all kinds of things uh, within your notes in Evernote. So you can really do, I mean, even outlines, notes you take in class, all kinds of things you can put down in Evernote and be able to view them on the go pretty much anywhere. You can also search through all your notes. So we want to search for, let's search for test. Actually, let's search for couldn't. Oh, you get the point. There is a searching feature that works the same as it does on the desktop application. And you can search for keywords or words in the actual note. Uh, that's basically it for Evernote for Android. It's not exactly a brand new application, but I felt it was worth sharing because I happen to use Evernote a lot more often now that I have it on the desktop. I didn't have it on the desktop before. So you can check this out by scanning the QR code at the DroidDog website or by visiting DroidDog.com or just searching Evernote in the Android market. Anyway, this has been MKBHD with a quick video for DroidDog, signing out. Peace.